everybody. Excited to have a conversation on business and the impact it's having on our lovely city of Cincinnati. I'm your host, Jordan Cornett. You can find me on various ESPN platforms covering a variety of different sports. But for now, I'm talking about the city I love most, uh, with two quickly becoming friends as we just had lunch. Yeah. And now we're ready to carry on with the second part of the day. So I'd like to introduce Julie Calvert, uh, the CEO and president of Visit Cincy, and Kim Lauterbach, president and CEO of Ready Cincinnati. So uh, I, I think a great place to start start here as we talk about Cincinnati and how business is booming. Um, Kim, you know as well as anybody, by the way, a late congratulations, Cincinnati Business Courier named you the 2021 CEO of the Year Thank for you. small nonprofit organizations. Uh, expansion is a perpetual theme <clears throat> when it comes to Cincinnati. How much growth and opportunity are you seeing recently? What was the turning point, if you will? You know, really the city has been on fire for several <clears throat> years. We had our second best year ever last year in terms of expansions and new job attraction. Uh, we actually weathered very well through the pandemic. I mean, it was certainly tough times, but we still had those looks there. Ready Cincinnati has been around for eight years, and we've seen the momentum ever since we came into existence. Julie, as you look at what the city of Cincinnati has become, and you, you are a face of the city in terms of tourism, uh, what is the best selling point? As you watch a city that, we talked about this, the perception of the city in years past, a long time ago, was it wasn't negative, it wasn't positive, it was just kind of neutral. Uh, where have you seen the perception of the city go? Because we all know very well it's positive. Well, it is, it's very positive, and it's really been, like Kim said, kind of on this upward trajectory for the past, you know, five to ten years. Um, but you know, I think, you know, people come to the city, and they're just so overwhelmed by the experience that they have. They just, it, I, I keep hearing all the time, which I want to get to the point where we don't have to say this anymore. Like, I never knew this was here, whether it's great neighborhoods, arts and culture, the food scene. Um, just the, the whole um, navigability, if you will, of the city. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people just come there and they find that they, they, they just, the, the values line up and they find themselves really immersing themselves in everything there is in Cincinnati. And just the friendliness of the city, the beauty, the neighborhoods, the architecture. Um, you know, we have so many films that are, are produced in Cincinnati because it, you know, plays up. Like, well, the architecture kind of plays like, sure. like mini New York. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, and so I think to have all those things, you know, kind of really nestled in the Midwestern city really speaks well for, for Cincinnati. No question, Julie. Kim, as, as you look at the Super Bowl and you talk about a direct impact, uh, how does the impact of the Bengals being in the Super Bowl help you to sell the region, of, uh, or sell the city of Cincinnati, but also the different regions within Ohio? Yeah, I saw a great quote today that said, that, you know, the city was already great. This is just letting other people know how great we are. Sure. It's making it that much easier <coughs> for us to have conversations about Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. So it's giving us more looks, more eyeballs, more things to talk about. You know, we sent out a bunch of these fun hats to our site consultants, kind of that hook on how come look at Cincinnati. But it hasn't fundamentally changed what we already knew we had right going for us. The, the low cost of living, the high quality of life, our ability to, to be to 50, 60 percent of the population quickly. So it's just giving us that extra layer of something to talk about to generate that excitement. Julie, what are the selling points for a city like Cincinnati for those who aren't familiar with it, who maybe are from the East Coast, the South, the yeah. North, uh, the West Coast? I think the location of where Cincinnati is, kind of right in the middle of sort of in the middle of the continent, kind of not, not too far west, but not too far east. So you know, again, you, you're you know an hour or four hour drive, plane ride um, of 60% of the nation's population. The compact nature of the city, the walkability of it. Uh, I think also, to Kim's point, the low cost of doing business and visiting in Cincinnati is important. Um, you know, we have you know really just terrific hotels that are, you know, are this, this, you know, they're built in these buildings that are just we restore the buildings, we mm -hmm. don't tear them down, we restore them and give them a second life. And just that experience and the beauty of all that really, uh, it just feels like very special, you know, in Cincinnati. So for us, whether we're talking to a leisure visitor or we're talking to a convention planner, it's really all the things about, it's called kind of all within the reach and it's affordable. Uh, absolutely. Kim, as you look at what um, Ready Cincinnati is, you're the president and CEO, uh, what it's been able to do for Cincinnati, and these numbers may have been shifted, so correct me if I'm wrong, but since 2014, over 22,000 jobs have been created and over $2.4 in capital investment. What have been some of the staples to your guys' success and the move with the momentum heading nothing but north? You know, I think really it's a combination of fantastic support with our homegrown companies. You look at companies like a Procter & Gamble, a Kroger, having those massive anchors there. The diversity of our economy that draws all different types of business. So as one might not be doing well, another industry is. But really then it's the vibrancy. We're talking about the selling points, the vibrancy of the city, the arts, the culture, the food, you know, the, the films that are made there, all of these things that make the city so, I think, unexpected. Um, and the ability to really appeal to this entire diverse base helps grow. And any and every industry. Julie, what do you dream of 
for Cincinnati because I think a lot of this is about dreaming and forward thinking and progress. And for a city that's propped up in a pretty nice place right now, uh, what does the future look like for the city of Cincinnati? Well, the fact that the Bengals are in the Super Bowl, you know, right now, just that whole comeback story. means anything is possible. Yeah, every, everything is possible, right? I mean, 30 years we waited for this, right? So we're taking full advantage of it. So, you know, I, I think for me, uh, you know, working in the tourism industry, you know, my dream um, is that, you know, people, you know, see the city in the out shots, you know, that are going to happen, you know, that's been happening all week and then this weekend, um, and just pick up and visit. They pick up and visit, um, you know, there's there's all sorts of tourism traffic that's happening all over the place, and the locals are, are cursing because there's all those tourists are here, yes. right? <laughs> and so I, I think, you know, and, and for, for us to at the CBB, I mean, we have 500 companies that are members of our organization so that they grow, they prosper through the visitor economy. Um, and, uh, you know, just for people to come and discover Cincinnati and love it so much that they move there. Love it so much that they move a company there or they expand the company in Cincinnati. And that, that starts with all, all of us working together, but it starts with the visitor. Because people don't visit Cincinnati, people don't move to cities that they haven't visited first. So that's you know our, our hope for how we capitalize on what's happening now is that we're getting more visitors, more residents, more companies, expanded businesses, and everybody's prospering and the tide is rising. Question, Kim, I, the buzzword probably expansion and growth with, with jobs. And as you look at the economy in Cincinnati fortified, but can only go uh, north as we talk about momentum here, what do you envision the future looking like in that regard? You know, we've, we've been so fortunate in the diversity of that business base that we can draw from. You know, certainly we had uh, the announcement that was so good for the city of Ohio with Intel making that massive announcement that really puts Ohio in a different light, and certainly that includes Cincinnati. So you layer then the Super Bowl appearance that it is us really starts to take a different shape, right? We're really becoming a much more technological, innovative area where we can, I think, have the amenities that bring those types of workers in there. So we're really hopeful that this continued, again, light on the city, helps someone say, gosh, what the heck is going on there in Cincinnati? I should go visit because I guarantee you, if you come, you're not leaving. Absolutely. Uh, we did touch on in, in earlier conversations a bid for FIFA, Julie, coming to the city of Cincinnati. For those who are only looking at it through a sports lens, and we know the soccer craze that's come with FC Cincinnati, but beyond the sport, what could that mean in terms of the city? And then also, I'm curious, Kim, the impact economically that could have as well. Yeah. So, again, you have the FIFA event. You know, we talk about it in terms of it's like having like seven Super Bowls at yes. time, you know, in your it's city. It's a sports. global sport that we talk about football. Yeah. I mean, so, soccer's on an entirely different Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so people will come from all over the world, um, you know, to Cincinnati to experience that game. And so I think for us, it, it is about increasing our diverse um, resident base you know, that they'll see, they'll come to Cincinnati and see the, the, the affordability, the amenities, the, the navigability of the city, easy to get around. Um, the education system that exists in Cincinnati, how strong it is, whether it's university or, or, or high school, um, and decide they want to move there. And so again, we're building our, we're building a more diverse resident base. That means we have more businesses, more tourism opportunities. So I think we really can't understate the importance and just the benefit and value of having people, you know, come to Cincinnati. And again, you know, cities like LA, you know, are bidding for it. Big cities across the nation are bidding for this. And then here is Cincinnati on the cusp of being able to secure that you know, for the city. So again, it just gives it another reason to put massive amounts of eyeballs on Cincinnati, uh, look at our companies, look at what we have to do here, um, what life is like living in Cincinnati. It's, it's you know, kind of a, a smaller city with big city amenities. Sure. It's all accessible to right? you. You can, you can have access or you can get there. So I think that, um, I think we're gonna win. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Fingers crossed. And I think when you talk about the impact, too, you mentioned it, it's a global stage, right? And what we know about Cincinnati is we are one of the most globally connected communities. We have over 450 foreign-owned firms that make the Cincinnati region home, which is a really huge number when you think about the size of our region. That plays so well to that global audience. As you start to get, again, that global audience coming into Cincinnati and eyeballs on it, you're seeing, wait, there's companies that are from my, my hometown, companies from my country, people who are like me here, people who speak my language, people who eat my food, people who do this helps again I think attract that that really welcoming place for us to have those expansions. Well, I think that the of the many things that come from this clearly promise and the belief that the future is going to be very bright and to kind of channel that that statement made by the Bengals it's become a rallying cry is Cincinnati it is us. It's us. Uh, Kim and Julia really appreciate the time thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.